Hey, what's up everybody? Our Boots here and welcome to a world tour of a world that I haven't ever showed. I've mentioned showing it, but now is actually when I'm finally doing it. Um, clearly. But this is it. No, this is the spawn of the world. Um, the reason I'm here is because I just destroyed my bed and killed myself. Uh, I do have keep inventory on, and I turned it on just for this, in case I end up dying. Um, I guess I don't really know, but... Uh, this... Oh, man, I don't even remember when I made this world, but in about a week, it would have been an entire year since I've even last opened this world. Um, but when I made this, it was like... I think it was around Minecraft's official release, and uh, it had the the Minecon seed. Why am I walking? I have Ender Pearls, and all you had to do is type in Minecon for the uh, the seed generator, um, and then it gave you this world generation. So, uh, bear with me. A lot of these aren't that good. Um, because even now, I'm still not that great at building, but uh, this is before I even became mediocre. So, pathway. I don't remember why I had these. I want to say it was supposed to prevent monsters, but, oh, well, I, I never finished this. Got some beautiful floors here. Um... See, my problem is, I'm probably just going to open as many chests as I can. But yeah, never... There's a lot of unfinished stuff in this. Um, so let's go around. Do I have... Are they falling for? Alright. Bam. I've almost... Like, I've gotten used to not using Ender Pearls with my current world. So, um... Uh, I guess I can use them now. I've got quite a bit somewhere. This w was supposed to be a treehouse. Doesn't have much to it. Um, yeah. That basically just grew a jungle tree. And I think this is when uh, jungles were new. So it just grew a jungle tree and then slightly modified it. And then boom, treehouse. But then this was like my second, no, third house I built. I think that was my second one. My first one is that one right there. And I'll definitely show that. But this is a, uh, a mob spawner, mob grinder. Um, I don't know if it's on right now, but let's go check. Currently it's on. Um, it definitely sounds like it's working. So let's go down here. Uh, I'm a bit worried. Not even an amazing sword. Well, so that's basically just a, a really giant hollowed out area. And eventually the mobs will uh, wander into the stream and slowly we'll swim up this isn't completely solid i don't know how many air pockets there are but they should make it to the surface without drowning unless there was uh some code that changed but oh there we go then up there there's lava is it lava or do they just drown it's lava and then it drops all the mob stuff. What is this? Wooden slab. Oh! These kinds of wooden slabs. These don't even go up. Oh, they do go upside down. Huh. But those are the kinds that don't burn. I didn't realize that they had like a weird texture like that. Um, oh, here's all my mob drops. Uh, specifically, there's no gunpowder. And I don't really know what I've done with all the TNT, but, um, I did something. This is a, uh, an automated, uh, 
pumpkin and me or pumpkin yeah pumpkin and melon farm currently it's off but uh, bam <laughs> doesn't even work that well um, <clears throat> this oh this is before hoppers that's right this goes all the way into my house to that redstone lamp basically what happens is uh, redstone gets sent right here and when there's a block here um, then it will complete the circuit and then oh, I don't remember it being this inconsistent but, <laughs> but yeah pistons will push that and then this this is my storage for them so let's go into my first house I started. Um, and there's so much crap around here. Oh, that's right. I have cats. Useless creatures. Um, I have a bunch of cake. I think that's left over. But um, redstone chest. No, that's not redstone. That's wood chest. This is my cobblestone storage. Oh, and apparently, um, ender chest. Right. I've been. I think I remember what... Where is my redstone chest? Oh, that's right, because I, I moved in this world. Um, so it's somewhere else. This is my manual... Oh, well, I guess it's somewhat automated. Then, pick those up. Um, also, I have a cactus farm. Which I never actually used, but... Um, well, this one doesn't have pistons. But, <laughs> all this stuff is like, for me, it's like, well, it looks just fine on the inside, even though it really doesn't. But the outside of my house is horrific. Um, and here is my secret room. I made up this, uh, this piston design. No, I clearly didn't make it up, but it was a uh, design that I came up with on my own. Let me get some ender pearls. Um, a bunch of stuff. I don't remember why I had this. I'm storing gravel in here. And TNT, apparently. So it's not like my valuable chest. Oh, that can stay open forever. Uh, this is like my... Uh, um, random stuff. Miscellaneous. Go up to floor two. And this is where I had my iron, gold, and diamond deposit. Um, apparently slime balls. And then third floor, I don't think I have... Right. All I had... I did have a, uh, a snowman there. And this would be my, uh, my, uh, snow farm. I'd just sit here. And I don't, there's a lot of stuff that I question um, the reason I implemented stuff or put it in. Because I have no idea why I, uh, um, why I wanted all that uh, snow. So originally this was a, uh, a wheat and sugarcane farm. Um, but then I destroyed it. I don't remember where I moved it. Um, oh, let's go under here. This is my enchant- nope, never mind. Moved my enchanting table. This is where I got my milk from these two cows. Um, I wonder if I killed them recently. Because I don't know where I got all this steak from. Then this is my sheep farm. Uh, oh. Bump it to your friend. What the heck? What happened to all the sheep? Huh. I wonder if they ended up dying because they like suffocated in the wall or something. Um then this is where I just stored all of my all of my wool. Um once again, didn't really use colored wool for anything. Um, oh, my chicken farm. Oh, well, 
Actually, no. I was gonna say, my frames are pretty bad, but I don't... I think my computer is just dying on me. I don't think it's those chickens. This was supposed to be a bakery. And this... This cocoa bean farm... The, the wiring for this thing is... It was a nightmare to do. Um, because I made it so that you step on this... Uh, I mean, it, it powers those, but it doesn't power the pistons up there. Let me actually go up there. Um, there's nothing too special. But it doesn't power those. So then, I made it so that you push the button, then you stand on this, and then it powers those. And then you just harvest the cocoa beans right here. Then you step off, and step back on, and then those don't get powered again. And... Uh, what's the easiest way to get back here? Um, I do actually. Oh no! 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 I'm like, well, I'm not gonna be able to show it. Oh, okay, never mind. It didn't do anything. Oh no! It did something. I forgot that I have a super shovel. Um. Can I? Can Can I get in there? Um. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't even follow this right now, but it was an RS Norlatch, um, an AND gate, a, a, um, I think that was actually mostly it, but, uh, just cramming it down there was a real pain. Um, what is this? Oh, this is just a cookie dispenser. Which doesn't work because items can't go under a half block now, apparently. And here's my wheat farm. Apparently I forgot to reharvest. <laughs> Jack-o'-lanterns for light. Um, this is really basic. Push the button. Harvests the wheat. And then you just go back, pick up all the seeds, and then replant them. Nothing too special. It's pretty much empty anyways. So, so this is what, what all the, uh, the, um, extra cake in my house is from, I guess. Uh, making those was really terrible, because, um, uh, buckets of milk do not stack, so that filled up really quickly. Oh, I didn't go to the, the top of this. Um, my goal... For this was to build a uh, a wall all around like the perimeter of my base and weapons and armor yeah I don't know why I'm filling oh I think those are just zombie drops all right okay I can deal with that um, nothing over there so let's circle around to my slime farm um, oh my mob trap farm. I mean, I, I made this in my last world. There's nothing special about it. But the reason it sunk into the ground is uh, it wasn't... Um, I, I guess I just miscalculated. But let's go kill my chickens. Um, I don't know if they'll all die. Holy crap. <laughs> um, let's see. Are these these aren't even full. No. Um Ow. Oh, well, I guess that's how um I got them around here. But this thing this thing didn't cause as much lag as uh, one of the chicken farms I had in my old world, but... Um... Obsidian farm. I think this is patched, but... You can basically turn redstone into obsidian somehow. I don't really know how it worked, but... Um... Now my, now my slime farm. So, I don't know why I decided to do this, but I was going to... Well, actually, I did end up going all the way to Bedrock. I cleared out an entire chunk. Um, 
And it was it was on purpose that it was a a slime chunk. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm almost certain. There's no way that I would have accidentally done this in a uh, slime chunk, but I think this works. Um, but since I made it all the way to bedrock, um, I covered... This is all half slabs, so mobs can't spawn here, and um, slimes would be able to spawn here, because there's only one layer. It's not like a... Please don't kill me. Thank you. It's not like a good sli slime farm. It's just a functional one. Um, this is going to be really annoying. And game mode one. All right, let's go down here. Excuse me. And yeah, slimes. So it's similar to the one that Etho has in his world. Um, this is just the spawn, and then <laughs> oh, that's right. I had extra eggs. Um. So, this is to prevent more mobs from spawning. Um, I feel like... Oh, I remember where I got all my slimes from, actually. Uh, slimes would slowly follow the stream up here, then go small, medium, and large. Um, I'm assuming it's still... Well, I mean... There's just, uh, there's, uh, slimes right there anyway, so of course it works. Um, here is actually where I got, uh, most of my slimes from. Minecart trick. Uh, so down here, I have a very complex way of switching the, uh, Okay, no, I, I switched it back, but I didn't realize that uh, a T-junction for minecarts, all you had to do was send power or remove power from it, and it would switch it. So I had uh, this whole complex way of switching rails by using pistons and pushing them all over the place. Uh, whatever. Let's keep going to my strip mine. Um, so strip mines aren't really that exciting, and there's really nothing exciting about this. So I think I also had slime spawning here. Um, that may have been an accident, but yeah, I've done quite a bit of mining here. Um, oh, that one wasn't lit up. Oh! Oh, that's right. I didn't, uh, I was going to expand it, but then... I think, I want to say it was around this time when I decided I wanted to move and make another house, a fourth house. Maybe. Could have even been my fifth house. Um, but let's go back up to the surface. Before I do this, I'm going to set my game mode to creative. Um, And that is why, because I probably would have died. Um, I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure this area is... Pretty sure I'm done with this area. Oh, I remember this winding staircase. There's nothing too special about it, but... This is how I got up to the top, and, hmm, I must have done this before, either before Ender Pearls could teleport you, or before I knew about it, one or the other, um, so that's why that was there, and not just straight up, uh, um, whatever, uh, so here, Oh my gosh, this project was one of the worst. So, 
I outlined this in glass, and then I filled up the entire thing with dirt and removed the dirt. And now it actually wouldn't be that difficult with sponges, but this was long, long before sponges could do what they do now. Um, and then down here is enchanting. This I made this before uh, the chanting, enchanting is what it is currently. Uh, this was originally when it went to 50 levels, too. And so I could control it with these pistons. And it, I don't really think it was that much control. It was basically maximum. Well, this isn't even, like, the least, but... Um, back when I had a uh, enchanting mod... You could enchant and disenchant stuff, so I was basically using these to store my levels. Then I would unenchant or disenchant them to get my levels back. Um, so, it worked, but, I mean, I don't use the mod anymore. Um, something's not... Oh, right, the nether warp farm. I'm just gonna keep looking back and forth for the next five minutes. I will empty some stuff from my inventory. Well, when I say some stuff, I mean that one thing. Um, flint and steel, alright. So, another warp farm. Nothing too special. Um, was it fire that actually helped these grow? I don't think you need fire anymore. I think you can just plant them and then they grow the same everywhere, but... Um, then I also have uh, lava underneath that. Let's go into the nether. Um, this place is done. So, I don't know how long this is going to take. It will probably actually take a long time. Because there's a lot of crap in here. Uh, oh, well, thank you for doing that. Um, but, I'm just going to continuously record. Uh, I'll edit out the parts, so I'm not going to say bye at the end of this. Um, I'll probably, if it's like 35 minutes long, I'll probably split it into two. Um, so here, I don't think, oh, this was a blaze farm. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Blaze farm, and, uh... I guess apparently wither skeleton. I haven't. What? What are you doing in there? And I haven't used or made a blaze farm in a very long time. So I'm pretty sure this is also Ethos design, but I'm pretty sure uh, these fall far enough where that they uh, um, get dead. Where uh, it can still spawn more up there. Like it won't actually reach the, the cap. And then, boom, one hit. And uh, creative mode, so. There we go. Reset. But, oh, more enchanting. Um, and I guess I just stored more stuff there. But, that is not the best part. Way down here, and yes, I made, oh, this is where uh, most of my, well, it looks like I'm going backwards. This is where most of my cobblestone went, and you can probably guess why. It's a couple kilometers long. What the heck? Oh, I made that. I was gonna say, how come there are no uh, another another rack stairs over here? Um, I don't think withers ever existed. Oh no, wait, they did exist in this world, but I don't think when I use, I don't know. Actually, yeah, they did. That's why I cleared out that big area over there. But then over here. I've got wow, a bunch of stuff. What is it? Grass? What do I have grass in here for? 
saplings. Well, I guess wood, but wow. So here is uh, my dual blaze farm. And oh my gosh, the amount of nether, nether brick I needed for this. Um, let's see. Yep, this whole section here. I shaved off like four layers just to get enough nether brick to fill in that area because I didn't want ghasts shooting at me, so I just made it a giant room. And it worked. And I used this, I think I used this quite a bit. I say I think because I have absolutely no idea. Um, they work the same way. It's just got okay inconsistencies, but I think I think that problem was always a thing. Um, then it's got the sand crusher. This is all the redstone. Um, yeah, AFK there for a little bit, and then do more enchanting. I have quite a bit of enchanting tables in this. I'm realizing that. I think I always knew that, but um, I'm just now being reminded of it. I have, I think I've already come across four, maybe even more. Now, gotta go down this extremely long hallway. And can you imagine running this? And I think that's something I actually did. I don't even think I ever used, uh, like speed potions. Well, I probably did. Um, so I think I didn't do too much in the nether. So for the most part, this is it. I have the uh, the minecart, the the railway system, but outside of the the two blaze farms I have, what was that? Um. Okay, so over here, oh, I remember what I used the snow for. All right, let's see if this still teleports me to the same place. And you're gonna do it? Did, did you do it? I think it did it. It did it! Yeah! I was gonna make, well, a general location. I was gonna make a, um... A, uh, well, I guess a sky temple of some sort. So, snow because, um, clouds, obviously. But I really wish I could go through all this in the order that I built, but this stuff is so all over the place that would not be efficient at all. And down here is my. Um, and, uh, where is it? <laughs> Enderman farm, is it down here? The heck, I don't remember it being this complex. Oh, it was over here. It was not over here. What is the point of this room? Are there, wait. I thought only iron doors spawned in places in this place. Maybe not, I guess not. Am I gonna have to go into spectator mode just to figure out where I'm supposed to go? What's down here? A redstone torch. Do I actually? I don't have redstone down here. What? I must have been high when I did this or something. Never dig straight down. Oh, wait, I didn't dig straight down. Okay. Um. the heck okay let's go back to the hole I came down 